everyone so today a special guest joined with us husain uh, thank you for joining us with this show and uh, husain did his masters in ece in virginia tech and uh, he also secured a research assistantship from the second semester itself which many people it's very really tough to get a second semester ra because my friends uh, whomever i know they got in third semester or in the final semester but uh, he got his ra in the second semester and also did the internship so let's ask his experience how it was and uh, how it went well and what should what we should do uh, correctly in order to achieve that and uh, so the questions will be mostly surrounding that and also regarding your university and what will be your living cost and tuition fee around that um, th- once again thank you for joining us hussain um, before making further delay i'll jump into the question so the first question which i would like to ask is why you choose virginia tech university and what uh, motivated you to start this masters uh yeah so before uh, coming here uh, for masters uh, i worked as a, a device engineer driver engineer uh, in a couple of companies uh, uh, for four years mm-hmm. uh so uh, so i felt like my kind uh, my job is kind of uh, saturated and uh, it's not challenging enough uh, uh, so i thought of uh, going into getting into research uh, uh so i applied for a masters so, so some of the seniors in my company they also did masters and they were able to get very good jobs here okay uh, so yeah i applied to bunch of uh, universities including virginia tech ncs and university of florida mm-hmm. uh, so the reason i took virginia tech is like uh, there are like three reasons one is, is the funding so I, I, so i approached the seniors who are already studying here in virginia tech okay uh, they mentioned like it is easy to get uh, the funding you know both as a ta ra and there's okay. also a graduate assistantship that doesn't comes under ta ra okay uh, the second part was the you know uh, as a, the professors like uh, they had a very good coursework uh, it's it's, uh, it's completely you know aligning with my research interests for example we have this course for uh, linux kernel programming okay it's one of the top courses here and then courses for uh, computer architecture and the compilers which i was very interested in i, I had okay. no experience in those subject uh, but i hear the coursework is pretty good here okay uh, so uh, and then the third would be like uh, the the cost of living and uh, it's qu- it's quite cheap here since you know it's it's in a remote town in uh, virginia okay uh, so it's blacksburg yeah, or something right it's called blacksburg there are two okay. campuses one in blacksburg and uh, one in on the new campus is in near dc oh okay yep so uh we were i thought of asking this question later about ra and ta but because you spoke now let's continue in that so you told you started looking for uh, professors what their research work are from the india itself right so how did you approach your seniors Uh, did you use linkedin or did you know the seniors whom ever studied already through your company or what was the approach and how you uh, how you were able to get that ra within one semester so the seniors i approached are you know they are mostly through linkedin like i don't know okay. anyone who is uh, personally like who is uh, studying in virginia tech okay so i just you know cold message them in linkedin Okay. Uh, and then as far as uh, as far as for approaching the professor so i just listed down the professors you know whose research interest you know aligned with mine like you don't need to be you know completely uh, have the research skill they are expecting okay uh, so but uh, if you have some more experience or published paper that would help so okay. i started very early like even before coming here i mailed those professors oh okay uh, i mailed three of them and a couple of them said like they don't have a project for me at they said like to ask me to approach in the second semester okay but one professor replied and he 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 did a zoom call with me and then he kind of came in on task to before a uh, task to finish before the uh, beginning of classes so, oh, okay okay yeah so even before coming here i kind of started working uh, started working towards the research project oh, okay and then while the classes started i showed my work and they gave me uh, something called as a uh, graduate student researcher role it's okay. kind of like it's not like exactly like ra okay. the, the responsibilities are similar to ra okay uh, you have to work 20 hours a week okay uh, except uh, you they won't pay your tuition fees uh, except they will pay like uh, you know t- uh, 2400 as stipend oh okay uh, so that's enough to more than yeah. enough to cover your uh, 
living expenses in Virginia. Like yeah. for example, my living expenses are uh, uh, it's around like seven hundred, including the rent, utilities, everything. Oh, okay. So you get to save a lot. Okay. Uh, and also doing this. So sorry for the interruption. So this happened within your first semester itself. Yeah, you got two thousand four hundred as a stipend. Yep. Oh, okay. So. You didn't start looking for any other part time inside the campus, some other part time, but rather you uh, did the right thing actually. Uh, please note this down. Like so, in case if you doesn't know where to uh, start looking, Hussein just ma- uh, started looking into professor. He tracked it down and then he asked in LinkedIn, which I personally don't know and I never did that. So it's really interesting for me also to know about these things. and uh, yeah let's continue with your uh, you were telling about the housing uh, rent what was it yeah yeah in blacksburg uh, the cost of living is uh, cheap it's uh, so it's not a city it's just a college town okay. the rent i paid were uh, you know for around 400 per month uh, so your cost of living even if you are like uh, very extravagant so uh, it won't go beyond 800 dollars uh, okay uh, Yep. So, so that one for thing. you are telling for a single bedroom apartment itself, you paid four hundred dollar. Is that right? Uh, I mean, I shared with. Ah, uh, uh, means yeah, your portion was single yeah, room so for you. You got right. So yeah. okay, cool. Uh, that was the one thing, and then uh, let's continue in that itself further. So, uh, did that professor itself converted you into an RA in the second semester? Yeah. So how it worked is, uh, for some people. uh they will get the ra as soon as they arrive like uh, okay you, they have the exact research profile that the professor is expecting okay uh so mine is like a little bit different but still like uh, my work, work experience uh, helped me so okay. they wanted me to evaluate for a semester uh so they will give you some some milestones to finish you know before the end of the semester oh, okay. once you able to do that and they have trust in you they will give you the ra for next oh, semester okay. so the ra in the important part about ra is like uh, you will get the stipend for uh, 2400 per month mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. also your tuition fees will be fully covered okay you just have to pay something called as a comprehensive fees i don't remember the name that just like uh, 3 to 350 dollars i think that's okay uh, fees okay so for the entire semester you'll be paying 350 dollar which you'll be able to easily cover with yeah. your own ex money which you are getting from the ra cool so the uh, so the most high, high uh, highest paid roles are t and ra yeah, and yeah. also there is also another role called you know graduate assistant mm-hmm. uh, so in virginia tech the graduate assistant will help in you know some office related work okay uh, you know it will be like a 20 hour per week job and they will also cover your tuition fees okay but I mean, but they are not as much available as T and R A. Okay. Uh, other than that, yeah, you will have the usual, uh, you know, uh, the dining roles. Ah, uh, okay. And you also ha- have the greater roles, which, uh, which you know, which we can do it from, you know, from your home itself. Like, uh, uh, so they also pay like fourteen, fourteen to fifteen dollars, uh, you know, per hour. Okay. So. what this calculation is in case if you are getting 14 to 15 dollar you will be having a 20 hours you will be allowed to work uh, and uh, as husain told you earlier the house rent is 400 dollar maybe the living expense will come like food and uh, your utilities will come maybe another some 300 dollar even then with your 15 dollar per hour and multiplying that like uh, for four uh, four weeks you will be able to easily achieve like around uh 300 to 1000 1000 dollar more than 1000 dollar you can get so which will be sufficient for you to cover your housing exp- uh, expense and stuff like that that's i wanted to add that sort of thing and uh, next thing which i am moving out is uh it depends on the track you are on so so my area of interest were you know computer architecture and uh, you know computers mostly okay. sy- sy- systems software okay uh, so there are three good courses like uh, th- these are very uh, very advanced and uh, qu- quite uh, heavy courses also one okay. is the uh, linux kernel programming okay second is the compiler optimization so okay and then third one is the uh, computer architecture okay so uh, if i want to add uh, i can also add the, the multi processor programming okay. so these four courses you know they are quite heavy and these are what they have like uh, really good projects Okay. As part of the coursework, uh, yeah. So I would name four of those. Like, oh, okay. Thank you. And uh, now I am moving into uh, next questions. Is like, 
how is the course as as you told these are heavy courses you told right so how is the evaluation over there and uh, basically in every university it is common like the assignments is going to be heavy and the project is going to be heavy how is it manageable so uh, with your work you having your work doing a work and managing the course how will it goes and uh, what are the do's and don'ts you think you should uh, you want to say uh yeah i would say uh, if you are going to take the heavy courses uh, i would suggest you to you know take it in the first semester itself okay uh, because uh, the, those if you don't have any experience you, all those projects are really good and you can add, add them in your resume oh okay uh, that's going to you know get you the interview calls for the internship, internship because okay. uh, once you are ahead you will you, even the first semester itself you you will start to you know prepare for the internship uh, yeah Yeah. so those things will help uh, so if not if you already got the experience then i will ask you to you know spread out throughout your uh, masters because uh, each course is going to take a lot of time okay uh, uh, for example in the linux kind of programming you will get the assignment for almost every week oh okay uh, so it's going it's hard to manage so if you take one heavy course uh, uh i was asked you to take uh, two other light courses uh. okay uh so we have uh, there are some filler courses you can take like you know some really uh, lightweight courses uh, but it's it depends on the track and everything so i think uh, you can figure it out on your own okay cool and uh, following this uh, i'll come into a little bit touch up on uh, small internship experience so how many jobs you applied for internships like how many application you did and uh, how how much calls you got back and what is the general situation in virginia tech whether the students many students are getting internship when you did or uh, what was the situation back then uh so it's it's also depends on the track you are on so for embedded system system software uh, almost everyone i know they got an internship you know okay. almost in top companies even the guys with those the experience okay. uh, they are also able to get it from you know nvidia samsung amd arm okay uh so because the course works really help uh, course works on the project really help for the for the internship okay uh yep so uh, i myself uh, applied uh, you know some sound aid companies uh, uh yep i be able to get, uh, get two internship offers okay uh, and then i picked one yep uh so some people what they will do is like uh, some people you know because uh, internship is pays you a lot mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. some people will try to do a co-op, co-op as well mm-hmm. in with respect to vision and tech uh, you can't take any other courses if you are doing a co-op oh okay so you have to excuse all your courses in a three semester three semesters three semester. oh, okay okay yeah but it will save you uh, tuition fees and you also get paid from the internship yeah people who couldn't get an rr or ta yeah. that will be a really a, like jackpot for them so that will be really helpful for them yeah if you get an rr it will be hard to finish it in four four semesters oh okay so in that case i would suggest you know stick to one internship oh okay Uh, so otherwise if you don't have an ra then go for you know to do internship yes. okay cool uh thanks for that and uh, uh last question we are kind of concluded with my question so in case if you guys have any other question put it down i'll we can interview husain again but uh, my last question to you is like what is the tuition fee over there let's assume that i came came there i couldn't get an ra i couldn't get an ta i just have like a uh some dining role which i can cover my expenses uh so then how much will be the expense like in general or per semester tuition fee do if you could remember that yeah so for each semester since we are on f1 visa mm-hmm. international students has to maintain nine credits for for nine credits it will be like uh, 16k per semester oh, okay okay so almost all the guys who i know like who didn't take any r or uh, ta they all try to finish in 3 semesters oh, okay so uh, in that case uh, 16 into 3 will be around like uh, 48k so how how that works so in in university of florida so whatever the subject i take let's say even if i take 12 credit in a semester i need to pay per credit har fees so for you guys in case if you are taking more than 9 credit was the fee uh, yeah. will after, stay at the 16k or yeah after the 9 credit will saturate like after the 9 credit uh, it doesn't matter you take 9 credit or 15 credit oh, so you all need okay. to pay the same okay okay so basically you can take so you need to complete 30 credit yeah 36 30, 30, 30 credits yeah. oh, okay so at the last semester any time whenever you could add some yeah. subject you can add okay cool good to know that 
because many university which i know they will put in a per credit basis so oh, after nine credit uh, it caps it caps okay good to know that and uh, that will be all uh, for today's session and the questions and uh, at the end in in case if you want to advise to a new prospective people who is coming to virginia tech uh, what will you advise and uh, what what will be your one suggestion or some couple of suggestions you want to give and you can say that uh, yeah one suggestion is like uh, yeah just be proactive like uh, so what do we have to do like either approaching a professor you know applying for internship uh, applying for full time job start as early as possible uh, talk to your seniors uh, ask them mistake uh, uh, i know so many of my juniors you know the guys who started after me they will approach me very early and i'm really happy to help them uh, because uh, i was able to tell or uh, order the mistakes i made and they can learn from our mistakes so so just be proactive okay so thank you for this and i will add husain's linkedin id in the below and uh, uh, linkedin id and instagram id also i'll add in case if you have any doubts you can ask uh, uh, husain and you can he will be really happy to help you guys and thank you thank you all thank you for the thank you for joining us husain once again and uh, thank you bye we'll meet you in next video